we reported earlier in the newscast, Perry County just received its first three cases of the coronavirus. Here to talk about those cases is Dr. William Markram. He is the Perry County Health Officer. Dr. Markram, welcome. And what can you tell us so far about these three cases? Well, uh, we have two male patients and one female, and I honestly cannot give you an age on any of the three of them. Our health uh, nurses are uh, doing contact, uh, are doing, uh, making their contact uh, calls, um, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to know where these patients may have been uh, prior to and during the time that they were symptomatic. Okay, so two males and one female. How many people, do you know how many people that the, the county has tested so far and how many currently are waiting for results? Um, we are, our best guess is that we have done approximately 100 to 110 tests. Um, the uh, uh, Perry County Memorial Hospital as well as local uh, physicians' offices have uh, opted to start using uh, commercial labs for our COVID testing because the uh, CDC requirements are so stringent that it's quite honestly uh, difficult to uh, get a test through. And uh, as I explained to a, another uh, station just uh, recently, uh, I don't think any of the three uh, patients that we had turn up positive uh, would have met the CDC guidelines for um, going through a test. Do you know when you all started testing? Um, I can't really give you a, a date okay. on that. That's okay. I, I, I honestly don't know. It's, okay. It seems like about three years ago, but I don't think it's been that <laughs> <Right>. long. <laughs> Why do you think that Perry County didn't have any confirmed cases until today? Is there a reason behind that, you think, or...? Uh, I think a couple of things. I mean, first of all, we are a uh, fairly uh, rural area, and uh, we don't have a lot of uh, math gatherings. And honestly, I think our citizens, for the most part, have been doing the social distancing and uh, avoiding the uh, non-essential travel. Um, I know uh, it's hard to get hand sanitizer at any of the local stores. I think there's a lot of hand washing going on as well. So I, I think part of it has been uh, our location and the fact that we don't have uh, a lot of uh, people congregating at one place. Uh, just to wrap up, any um, precautions or anything you're telling folks in Perry County to do to stay safe? You said that a lot of people are adhering to social distancing and those guidelines, but anything else you want to reiterate to those folks? Um, the CDC is now recommending that uh, persons out in public wear a mask or some sort of facial covering. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say I agree with that um, and uh, you know, continue to wash your hands, continue to stay six feet away from other people. And uh, if you don't need to be out, don't be out. And if you do need to be out, only take one person at a time. Um, there's no reason to have three people hanging on to a shopping cart at the local grocery store or mm -hmm. Walmart. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. William Markram. Thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. Ron